Okay, guys, 10-6 distance and midpoint formula. I've got, uh, I've got three examples for you today. One of a midpoint, one of a distance, and one of where they give us the distance. Uh, and we might have to find um, some, some points in there. So let's look at it like this. If I'm given two coordinates, and let's say 5, 2, and negative 6, 8. And I put those on um, a coordinate plane and drew that. That, uh, that would be a line segment, and I could find the middle of that. Here is the formula, and this is how we do it. We're going to add the x's and divide by 2. That's going to give, you my, give us our x-coordinate. And then I'm going to add the y's and divide by 2. Really pretty simple. Okay, so let's add the x's. 5 plus a negative 6. And I'm going to take all that and divide it by 2. And then let's add the y's. 2 plus 8 divided by 2. And 5 plus negative 6 is negative 1. So my x coordinate. Okay, so that's going to give me negative 1 divided by 2, which is just negative 1 half. And then 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I have a midpoint of negative 1 half, 5. Okay, so really just add the x's together, divide it by 2. Add the y's together to divide by 2. So that will give you the, um, the midpoint of those two points. Okay, now let's take a look at the distance formula. All right, the distance formula. Yep. Okay, basically we're going to be doing, dealing with the same thing. Okay, we're going to have two coordinates, and it's just going to be a substitution problem. So here's the distance formula. D equals the square root, and we're going to subtract our x's, x2 minus x1. We're going to square that and add to it. y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So let's Kathy take... Kathy Churchill and Jack Davis, please come to the office. Kathy Churchill and Jack Davis. Busy place this afternoon. Again, I'm recording this after school. Typically don't do this, but just had some crazy things going on today. All right. So there's my coordinates. You know, we can go ahead and identify this is my x1, x value, my first coordinate, y value of my first coordinate, x value of my second coordinate, y value of my second coordinate. Now we're just going to substitute. So we've got x2 minus x1, so that's going to be 1 minus 5 squared plus. Now we subtract the y's, negative 2 minus 3 squared. A lot of work to be shown on this, so those of you who don't like to show work, this is just not going to be your day. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. So that's going to give me the square root of 16 plus 25, which is the square root of 41. Okay. Now, let me flip over and see what they're going to want. Um, 
Oh, excellent. Even better. Don't even need to uh, don't even need to use a calculator on this one. I like them leaving it this way. Okay, so your distance is actually the square root of 41. Now, if they wanted an actual distance and number, then you would take the square root of 41 and then round it to whatever they wanted. But that's not what they want to do in this case. They want you to just leave it as square root of 41. Okay, now finally, let's look at one just a little bit differently. Let's see if I can find one of those. Um, yeah, let's take... Let's take 6a and 5, 0. And they're going to give you what the distance is. They're going to tell you the distance is the square root of 17. They want to know what value of a makes this whole thing true. So we're going to take our distance formula. So they will write it down every time till we get used to it. And now let's sub in the things we know. We know what the distance is. We know that it's the square root of 17. We know that our x2 is 5. We know that our x1 is 6. We know that our y2 is 0, but we do not know what a is, so we just leave it as a. And let's keep going. Square root of 17 equals square root. What is 5 minus 6? That's going to be negative 1. And 0 minus a. Okay, that's going to be negative a. I need to extend this. Okay, now I've got to be careful here. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. And negative a squared means negative a times negative a, which is going to be positive a squared. Okay. Okay, now they both have square roots on them. So let's square both sides. This comes from Monday's work. That gives us 17 equals 1 plus a squared. Subtract the 1. So I've got a squared equals 16. Okay. Now, square root both sides. And a equals plus or minus 4. And we'll talk about that a little bit in class tomorrow. Plus or minus 4. All right. So that is 10-6, distance and midpoint. We'll see you in the morning.